uh, let's see, it's kind of not, it's like, it just looks like it says UBS. <laughs> okay. Um, Welcome, one and all. This is All Caps, your home for all things baseball cap related. I am, of course, Scott, amateur cap enthusiast, baseball enthusiast, general all-around good guy. I am excited. It is almost springtime. Pitchers and catchers are reporting in just a few days. A new era has released the all-new 2020 spring training and batting practice caps. Got a lot to go over. Let's get right into it. But first, let's hit the C-roll. So today I want to talk about the all-new 2020 Spring Training and Batting Practice hats just released yesterday by New Era. Uh, I am very excited about these. I'm always excited. I know that these are more fashion items. You know, they don't wear these during games at all uh, in the regular season. I do think this is where they tend to go a little bit bolder. I just really like that overall, Major League Baseball, they do have a lot of fanfare surrounded uh, by some of these uh, cap releases. Any chance I get to get excited about baseball, I don't care if it's for games or for caps or jerseys or whatever, I'm in. I've been thinking about doing this channel for a while now because I am a big enthusiast of uh, baseball caps. It was a huge part of my identity when I was a little kid, so I thought it'd be fun to share that with you guys. Uh, I am by no means a collector or an expert on caps, but I, I do love to talk about them. I am a uh, videographer, graphic designer. Um, I do know what looks good, I think, so um, hopefully you find this as entertaining as it is for me to make. What better time to start than spring training? The season is new, hopes are high, and of course, there are new spring training caps. So let's dive in. Let's take a look. So what New Era was doing this year, they kind of always come up with a theme every time they do one of these, uh, is logo within a logo. I think sometimes when they try to go with those themes, it works well for some teams and not for others. And uh, so it, as much as I like going thematic like that, sometimes it can be a bit of a uh, anchor for some of these designs. Just looking at the, the, the big... Uh, stack of all of them. I can't really see a lot of detail right now, but I do see some that are probably going to be pretty rough and, and some they are going to be pretty good. Uh, they are adding side logos. I'm not a huge fan of that. In general, it kind of reminds me more of like a golf hat. I don't really know why they need to have a second logo when they've already kind of squished two logos in here, but you know, that's what they're, that's what they're trying to do here. So let's dive right in here. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. I do really like this one. I, I like that the the way that the snake logo uh, within the A style, the Diamondback snake, is kind of just peeking. So it, it looks like it's a it's a, a natural pose for this logo. I like their logo. I like the logo within a logo. So far, so good. Uh, Atlanta Braves. They're really trying to go with the yellow stitching on the tomahawk. The way this kind of goes through, it's a little it's it's eye catching in a bad way they really just wanted to shove that detail and there's not a lot of detail on that tomahawk logo i would have liked this a lot better if it was outlined better uh the darker outline on the red um i don't think quite plays into it there's a lot of teams red and blue is by far the most used color combination but it's hard because when you're you know, when you're pairing two primary colors like that they have trouble standing out from one another so normally like with the atlanta braves uh, with the Red Sox, you'll see them go with a darker navy blue, and that helps the red stand out a little bit better, especially when you put it on the brim. In this case, just because you're throwing that yellow in there, it's not really working as well. I would, probably would have gone a little bolder. On their side logo with the straight tomahawk, they do have that bold white outline, so I'm not really sure why they didn't continue that onto the main logo. Uh, Baltimore Orioles. Eh, I, I love black and orange, I think, can withstand a lot of design issues it's kind of weird because they do have their little oriole like right center in that logo with just a, a silhouette of him holding that giant bat there so it kind of looks like he's like holding it over his back there it's kind of i don't know it's a little kind of fools your eyes a little bit it, it tricks with your perspective so it's it's not it's not a bad idea i might have just kind of moved where the logo was boston red sox um it's a classic logo. You don't really need to mess with it that much. All they're really doing is just kind of throwing those two socks in the background. So you're seeing a little bit of the toe, a little bit of the top. All right, Chicago Cubs. 
It just looks like it says UBS. I don't know why. I don't really like that the C is behind the bear. I would have just gone straight with the giant bear and have more of like the Cubs logo be legible because it's just, you just see UB. <laughs> you just see UB in the logo. It's, I, I think there was potential in this. I, I just think it, it just like just misses off. And then of course you got their classic logo on the side here. Chicago White Sox. I like this little the this little logo guy. I, I think they've adapted it well into the black and white, and I think it kind of works well here. From further away, I don't know if it's going to be legible, and I think that's going to be the problem with a lot of these is you're you're throwing a little different color scheme into here, and you're kind of like, eh, you know, I don't know how it's going to look uh, uh, actually on the field. On here, it looks okay. I don't know how it's going to translate. Uh, Cincinnati Reds. I, look, I, they can't really decide whether they want to be old school or new school, and they're trying to blend it, and, and sometimes it works really well. I do think it's, it's popping pretty well considering it doesn't have that that white, bold outline. So I, I like the way it's going here. Uh, they've got Mr. Red kind of in the background here. He's peeking his head out. You can see a little bit of his teeth. So this one's not bad. I, I think this one will work out pretty well. They might have even gone with like a black outline. Even on the, the Mr. Red uh, logo on the side, they have that... Uh, black drop shadow that's going up here that I think it, it works pretty well. I kind of would have liked to see that a little more on the on the C logo. Whew. All right. How many are there? Cle <laughs> Cleveland Indians. I, 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 I'm glad that they got away from Chief Wahoo. Let, let me just say that is um, a, a positive thing. Uh, so they're just kind of throwing the Indian script on the back of the um, block C letter. There wasn't really much they could do here. I think they're still trying to figure out how they want to make their primary logo here. If you're going to go with like a spring training cap that you're only going to wear, they're, they're only going to wear these for a month, go a little bit stylish. Like you don't have to really, you know, try to be too um, conservative here. Like if you're going to go bold, go bold. Colorado, okay, I like, I like, it's got the Colorado um, flag. It's kind of like it, your, your attention goes right to the yellow in the center there and it kind of goes out and then it gets darker with the blue. So like if you look at it a little bit, a little bit further away, like it's, it's harder to read. I know when I saw this on the bigger picture, it was, you know, I couldn't really tell who it was until we got a little bit closer. So, you know, uh, again, a lighter trim might have helped you to kind of bring that together. But overall, eh. the uh, Detroit Tigers, I, I, I like this a lot. They went with the white trim. Um, they could have probably gone a little bit bigger with the logo just to get a little more of that detail, but you do have that tiger striping detail. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this is a good look. Overall, I, this is one of my favorites so far. Houston Astros. Uh, they should have had a logo of a buzzer. I feel like that, that was a missed opportunity. I think this really works. They don't have the lighter trim, and on this one, I don't mind it as much because um, it is their straight Houston logo with the star on the back. Great logo. It does have that faded red, yellow, orange kind of look of their old school Astrodome, um, you know, 70s and 80s type look. I wouldn't change it. I, I honestly wouldn't. I wouldn't add that that light trim. I do know they have the white trim on the side logo. I, I do really like that other side logo there. It's a bit big, um, but again, for the Astros, it works because they're Texas. You know, that's that's kind of their whole their whole theme there. So overall, that's that's a pretty good one. Kansas City. So I, I like Kansas City's look. They they do have a very clean white and blue. I like that they have this crown. It's subtle, and I think that is what works here best um it's not trying to do too much it doesn't really take away from it uh, if, if i was a kansas city fan i'd be buying this hat I, in fact i might buy it anyway los angeles angels of anaheim so there's gonna <laughs> this one is really kind of putting the inception idea into this because you really do have two the a within the a it's like big a little a big a little a. like it, it it really it kind of draws you in a little bit i almost would have rather they just kind of kept going with the white all the way down the bottom that might have looked i don't love it but i, I could see this growing on me la dodgers I, again classic logos you don't need to do too much to make them interesting this one i think works pretty well because you've got that classic dodgers script going underneath the uh the la it doesn't take away from the logo i can still clearly make out that it says la even from far away if i'm wearing this you might not even notice that dodgers in there at first and then it's just kind of this subtle thing that you see when you get a little bit closer to the hat it's a good detail i think this one works really well the miami Mar the, miami is so close to having a really good look but they try way too hard to do the black on black here it's it's bold enough i think it works on the on the the cap, it's almost like they're just kind of putting that Marlin within the Marlin, like where it is. There's only like a little piece of the M that's kind of making it in there. So it's not taking away from it. It almost looks like there's no logo on the inside of it. It's just some interesting accents to it. So uh, I, I like the way the Brewers are going. I, I do like the new color scheme that they've got this deeper blue and then they've got the, the really rich 
it's not quite um, like mustard yellow, but it's like a nice gold kind of look. They kind of work in a little bit of that lighter blue, which I think they're working well on this cap here where they're doing it with the outline. So it's not like a trim. They've got a little bit of uh, in between the yellow and the light blue, they've got that navy. It's hard to tell that it's a Milwaukee Brewers logo, and I do really like their newer logo. I don't know if I'm really on board with this. I like their look overall with this particular one. I don't know. This the the state outline of of Minnesota looks really good. I don't know. Is that one of the logos? I don't. I don't know if that's actually one of their logos that they just used the state outline here, but it it works because it's a nice wide open type of state, and it's got a really cool distinct. You know, you know what Minnesota looks like generally. The the Twin Cities logo is just classic. I I, I it's one of my favorite logos in baseball. Um, so I think this really works. <laughs> I will take any opportunity I can to bang on the Mets. Uh, when it comes to caps, I don't like to because I really do love the the blue and the orange. And this is where you got two brighter colors that really accent each other well. So like you don't need to go with navy to make the orange stand out. Orange really stands out as an accent color. I don't I can't read this logo. Like I can't, it's just, it's got too much going on trying to fit those two logos in there. They go with this the blue trim that just makes it fade into the panels of the, the cap. I think that could have worked. I don't know why they didn't go with a white outline. That That's what I would do. I think if you added a white outline to the, uh, the NY logo on here, I think this would have been a great hat. But it's just with the blue, it's just, I can't read it. See, like with the Yankees, it fits well together where you do have, this is almost working kind of like the Dodgers where you have a very subtle, uh, kind of accent to it, but you can still see the clearly see the NY of the Yankees logo. This was an easy one for New Era to kind of design here. They kind of nailed it. I don't think you need any sort of trim on this one to make it work. Oakland does really well with their jersey designs in general. Uh, I, I love their caps. I did have a couple of them when I was younger. They were some of my favorites to wear. In this one, I think just positioning the oak inside of that elephant logo. I don't even think you need to see the rest of it. Like if they had made it smaller and, and kind of tried to work the whole letters in there, that might've looked kind of weird. I think this looks this looks pretty clean. Here we go with the Phillies. See, I might have to pick this one up. I think this works really well. You've got that blue silhouette. I think the Phillies do as well as anybody, if not better than anybody, then they, they stick with red as the primary. And that's why I really love the look so much, but they, they're really able to make that blue stand out, that royal blue because it's a deeper blue, but it's not a navy. So like it, it kind of, you know, you're, you got the two primary colors working really well together here. You know, I, I think the only thing that could make this one better is going with a white trim again. I know I'm saying that a lot, like have the blue in there, like don't quite um, go right up against the white trim that's already in the Phillies script that's in there. Kind of add like a little white, maybe even like a drop shadow type of thing. I think that would have looked really good. Overall, this one's, uh, this one's really solid. Uh, let's see, Pirates again, like I, you can do so much with black and yellow and and that all of their their logos the steelers the 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 penguins they all have this black and yellow look to them i really like that color scheme a lot there is so much you can do because that yellow just really pops off of that there's nothing on this hat that pops i, I do like the way that you've got the pirate kind of positioned in there but because there's so much black in that part of the logo the only yellow that's popping up in this is the earring on uh, the pirate, you don't even have any of the uh, any of the bandana in there, and there's no trim. So absolutely. So again, I wouldn't know this is a pirate's hat. So a lot like the Mets, I, I'm not seeing anything that stands out here. This is going to be hard to read on the field, and I, that makes it not work. <laughs> okay. Um, San Diego. <laughs> San Diego. I don't mind that they're going back to the brown and gold. I, I do. I could potentially like the look if they do it well. But it, it just, it's so, there's such a narrow point that, that brown and yellow can work. You know, they're going to do their best to try to use that yellow as an accent and, and using the brown as a base. That's really all you can do. With this, I, I can't even make out the S. It's kind of not, it's like, if I look far away, it looks like a plunger. I don't know why they didn't try to go reverse on this and try to use the SD and make that a little bit wider and try to work the swinging fryer in there. I don't mind the swinging fryer logo, but these just... They don't work. I, it, I don't think this is going to look really good. All right, let's get back on track here. San Francisco Giants. I, again, I like, I like black and orange. It's a really good color scheme. This is working pretty well. I can see there's like a, a, a really dark orange spot at the bottom of the F that I, I think kind of makes it almost look like a potted plant of some kind or some kind of tree with the <laughs> with the uh, the Golden Gate Bridge coming up in here. But it's overall, it's pretty solid. They're not trying to do too much. I think if they had 
there had been more black in that logo, I think it would have been hard to make out. Mariners, I've always loved the Mariners logo. I, I've always really liked how the emerald and the navy kind of accent each other. I do like that. The only thing I would have done to make this better is, again, add that white trim in there to kind of make this pop off of the hat. You're losing some of the spikes off of the uh, the Maritime logo without having that kind of trim. Maybe if they had put it onto like more of the emerald background uh, instead of a base navy blue cap, I think this might have looked interesting. Man, this oh, I like this one a lot. St. Louis cardinals this works out really well again you see you see what happens when you add the trim you just got to listen to me you just got to add that white trim i think that made this logo really work um sometimes i think they go a little bit too much into the navy blue i think they should stick with the red as their their primary i like that they're doing that with this cap here they're not trying to throw that navy blue uh brim on here uh the logo inside of the outlined the white outlined stl logo i think is working really well here great look Tampa Bay. So I like their look overall. I do like this kind of unique um, starburst kind of uh, logo that they have in here. So it's not that I, I mind the logo so much as I feel like they're trying to lean really heavily into the powder blue. As far as baseball goes, there's only, I would say, four teams that are allowed to do powder blue. Phillies, Royals, Cardinals, Expos. Those are the only four teams that I think should ever be allowed to use powder blue. Those are the only teams that it ever really looked good with. At least when they're bringing it back, there was a point where that was their away jersey. And they're they're kind of, you know, either paying homage or they're just trying to bring back into it. It's a bit of a craze right now in Major League Baseball. Tampa Bay doesn't belong in that that category. They just they weren't around. I like this logo. I like that the Starburst, it's again, it's another really subtle. This kind of reminds me a little bit like the Kansas City one that we looked at. I like that the 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 navy blue back there. Texas range. Okay, so Texas, they, they made some tweaks this year. I think the way that they have positioned the Texas flag on this, it looks really good. I would have liked it if maybe they just made the logo a little bit bigger so they could extend it down. There's kind of doing this little wavy thing at the bottom of the T that it's not bad. It's not terrible. I don't hate it. I think overall this does really well, especially because they added that trim. Oh man. So it, we're we're ending we're gonna end on a high note here. Toronto Blue Jays. This this is a home run. This is a this is a really really sharp looking logo. I know they use this logo sometimes, like this iteration of the logo. I like this logo a lot. The trim works great. It really pops off of the blue, um, and then having that blue J. Washington Nationals. So this is this little uh, newer W with the with the Capitol building silhouette in the background. That's a newer logo. I, I think that came in in just a couple of years. I'll have to fact check that one. Kind of similar to the way we were looking at with uh, a couple of other ones here. I would have liked it if this was reversed. So if they tried to use that W, and I think it went with that last year. So maybe they're just trying to be a little bit different. This is the only team I've seen so far that went with the white uh, front panels. So I think that'll make th that allowed them to do a little bit more with this logo. I'm torn. I'm really torn about this one because I like it. It could have been better. Again, I don't know that these two logos really fit with each other. So I think this is another one where the theme is kind of working against it. All right. So, I, I, you know, overall, I think we got some really good looks here. I think we got some ones that need uh, need some work. Um, top five, I probably go Houston's really works well. Detroit, I think, is a solid one. Kansas City, I'm a little biased about the Phillies, but it is a really good look again this year. Oh, man, how am I supposed to pick just a few five out of these? Arizona did really well. Bottom five, ugh, I think Colorado's pretty much struggles here. So I'd probably go Pirates, I think, is really struggling. Padres is not uh, not doing too much there. Mets, ugh, that's pretty rough. You know, almost as rough as their franchise right now. But, you know, it's, uh, both of the Chicago's are are. are having a little bit of trouble all right well those are my opinions if you do have a different opinion leave a comment right down there in the comment section let me know which ones you like let me know which ones you didn't like who knows maybe you really like the mets one i can't i'm not gonna stop you i'm not gonna stop you if you want to wire that mets hat it's okay i'm not gonna be mad if you did find this at all helpful please make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching i tip my cap to you see you next time